All right, guys, so here's a review and a little 0 to 60 quarter mile session with a automatic BRZ and a M3, both 2022s. This is the best 0 to 60 we got out of the BRZ. I'm not sure why this is about a half a second faster than all the other runs, but this one time it just, the transmission did it right for once, and it was pretty quick. Um, the manual's a lot faster. It's under six seconds. I uh, just couldn't find a manual to rent. Um, the M3 is obviously very impressive, extremely tricky car to launch, um, and we just started launching and just got through break-in, so we'll get faster. Um, but yeah, enjoy the video. There's no ATV stuff in here. Felt exactly the same. It fucking short shifted. Putting it in manual mode does nothing. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> oh, we had probably a quarter mile like nine. That was such a pussy ass launch. Yeah, everyone who's reviewed this car has been right. The transmission is complete crap in the automatic. So I'm just gonna put my foot down here and let you hear this video roar. It doesn't feel that slow. All right, so we are doing 85 miles an hour, 86. Like about 83, 84 decibels at 85. Ready. God, it's so gutless the way it shifts. Yeah. 7.54. It's about what you were doing. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about it. That's all that has all it's all it has to give. 15.5. Um this has uh, firmer front suspension and softer rear suspension than the Toyota. So people say this one tends to understeer a little bit more and the Toyota tends to oversteer um, the 86. I obviously prefer oversteer, but you got a mechanical handbrake here so you can initiate oversteer. Um, but I mean, I'm sure it's really similar. One thing I have noticed, if you launch real hard, either from a stop or when you're going slow, this thing likes to pull left and when you left the gas, it pulls right. And I don't know if that's because this particular car is has some suspension problem. Um, it's got a check engine light on it. It's got almost 6,000 miles on it, so it's pretty new. I'm gonna get underneath it and see if this guy's hit anything. So not surprising, this thing does not have the sound deadening my Ram has. So I'm gonna shut up so you can hear it. Check out how far this seat reclines. All the way back. Camaro did not do that. There was it's really not bad to get in and out of, especially compared to the Supra. I prefer the I prefer the looks of the Toyota better. It's probably the one I'd get, um, but this is the one that was available. It's the same car. Um, this one does have the 18-inch wheels, which I think means it's there's a premium and then there's one above the premium. There's only two trims, so I think this is the higher trim one. So I am in the back of this uh, BRZ. Same problem as the Camaro. My head hits the glass. Until a real sports car enthusiast owns this car, Michelin Pilot Sport 4. General grabber, I don't know what, Max. Oh. 4.69, let's go! <laughs> We're improving! It felt a lot better. It did. 12.85, that was your best best. So having just been in an M3, the one that's right behind us, M3 manual, I can tell you that this car is extremely unrefined. That's a pretty stiff, hardcore car, but it rides smoother than this, and it doesn't have all the weird rattles and imbalances and 
torque steer and all the other weird shit that this car does. Now obviously that's an $80,000 car, this is a $30,000 car, but you really do get what you pay for. That car is, you know, a little more than twice as expensive, but it's at least twice as refined. And it's also faster and everything else and has four doors and whatever. But um, in twisty roads that are kind of narrow, this car is more fun because it's not wide. You can play in the lane. You